This tractor is equipped with cognitive agropilot, an AI solution for agriculture that makes almost anyone a highly skilled machine operator. Using this technology, a combine harvester can identify unharvested areas, change its route autonomously and send new information to other machines. Developers say it can also provide real-time analysis of harvested crops, instantly evaluating impurities, moisture and other qualities. AI solutions like these are expected to improve employee productivity and help alleviate potential labor shortages. It's a very popular uh, topic of agriculture society yeah, uh, because it's given information from one side, it's uh, very comfortable for people. Yeah. Another side, we uh, we near the solution with a, a few harvesters work together with one operator and we will show that in a, in a year, maybe in a two. It's uh, reduce the cost for owners. There are 1,700 agro-pilots already in use in Russia, and the market potential is over 1 million. 80% of their components are produced in Russia. AI solutions are becoming more and more important for Russia, which is struggling to tackle a shortage of labor. AI is already used in over a third of the country's priority economic spheres. There are more than 1,000 companies and over 90 research centers developing AI in Russia. According to a recent survey, 20% of large Russian companies already use generative artificial intelligence. The economic potential of AI in Russia is estimated to reach up to 38 billion US dollars by 2028. But experts warn that a shortage of certain technology because of sanctions and global scarcity could hinder AI development. The sector has also been hit by the departure of thousands of IT specialists from Russia following the start of Moscow's operation in Ukraine. In terms of uh, AI and its role for the local market, I, say, I would say that uh, definitely it will even help to um, solve the problem of the IT profession shortage, which we face as Russia and many other companies at the moment. Uh, by different estimations, uh, the shortage is around 1 million people, 1 million IT specialists. And, uh, uh, that's quite huge. AI supports other sectors as well, creators of all kinds, marketing, but also basic materials, oil and gas, metals and mining, commerce. Consultancy group Yakov and Partners says Russia is the seventh country in the world in terms of the level of government support of AI development. It creates opportunities for our technological companies, for our businesses to uh, first develop their own solutions, second, and be not dependent on the international solutions, especially uh, within su such a period of time, then uh, it supports uh, us as um, just citizens in getting more and more advanced solutions and uh, making our life easier. AI development has become an important issue for Russia, one where the country's leadership sees the potential for a competitive advantage. But to achieve that, Moscow needs to deal with two key issues, a shortage of people and hardware 